Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to another episode of As the Kiosk Turns. You know what? I know these calls are some years back. I get it. I understand it. And I'm keeping it real right now. I don't care if Kristen talks to jailbirds or serial killers or murderers or whatever. If that's what she wants to do, that's on her. She's a grown woman. She can do what she want to do. But when you start putting your kids in the mix, then you're, you're sick. You're already sick for talking to somebody like Wade Wilson. You're already sick in the head. But then you're going to send a picture of your daughter to him and you have no issues of Wade writing her? That's crazy. Now, what if Wade, right? What if Wade started liking the daughter and kicked the mother to the side? You feel what I'm saying? Because I don't put nothing past anybody. I don't put nothing past anybody. But why would you have your a picture of your daughter going to a jail works, a murderer at that? Wade Wilson. Why? To me, something is just wrong with that. All right, let me know if I'm overreacting, but come on now. That doesn't, mm -mm. but you know what? We can't get too upset because look who we talking about here. She still support Wade. I feel like she still supports him. Why was her children at the courthouse then? The daughter was there. You didn't see her on camera, but you saw her son on camera. He was on camera. So, why were her children down at the courthouse? Because they support him. She still support him, probably, to on the side. All that I've changed stuff. At first, I was like, okay, so there's a possibility she did. But after listening to these calls and then after listening to how she was going off, you know, saying people need to leave her alone, I think she still support him in some way or another. I think she do. But you know what? She's a grown woman. She could do what she wants to do. I'm not sure how old her daughter is, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sending a picture of my kids, my daughter, to a jailbird. A murderer at that. I'm not sending my pictures to nobody in jail. My my kids' picture to anybody in jail. That's crazy to me. That is insane and it's sick. It's insane and it's sick. So if you don't agree with me, that's fine. But to me, that is insane and it's sick. Okay? She's a hot mess. She's a hot mess. Now, something happened with um her friend Jason in the car. It broke down. And she's explaining to Wade, oh, yeah, you know, this happened. I couldn't put... Why are you explaining yourself to a jailbird? Why are you explaining yourself to him, period? And that makes me think that Kristen was in too deep with him. She really had strong feelings for him. She did. She had feelings for Wade. Because you explaining yourself why you didn't put money on his books or whatever the case may be, his canteen. That's crazy. What? And you know, and she's like, she's basically paying to hear his voice. Yes, you are. Because if he doesn't have money to make phone calls, he can't make a phone call. So yes, you are putting money on on his dime to, so when he calls you you can hear his voice yes you are paying to hear his voice absolutely you are paying and Wade and Chris's laugh I told you once and I told you guys before it's annoying because I feel like his laugh is fake all this laughing and baby this and I love you this that's just so he can get money from her it keeps the pockets flowing okay and, and the crazy thing is her daughter is footing the bill for most of her stuff. Like she said, her daughter take care of the household. So, if your daughter's giving you money, you got to put it on his books? That's insane to me. That's insane. So, Kristen was in, and Wade was talking about how Kristen's brother was locked up with him. Um, and stuff like that. So, okay, Wade... Kristen's brother, no way. They was locked up in the same jail. And I guess they were like roommates or whatever. However you want to call it. Bunkies or whatever. I don't know. (sighs) 
I just can't get over of Kristen sending Wade a picture of her daughter. I just, I, I can't get over that. I can't believe it. But anyway, now somebody help me out. We was, I was listening to the call. Did she say something about um, her family, like, well, making the news in Lee County? Like the heroin family or something? They made the, um, the Lee County news? Sounds like she was bragging a little bit. And to me, that's nothing to brag about. No. It's nothing to brag about. And then she was complaining about half of her pills going missing. Um, you know, her daughter pays the bills. So, was she talking about Jason taking half of her pills? No, because he was the one that took her to see Wade, right? It was somebody that was staying in her house or was in her house. And when she got home, you know, um, her pills were missing. Sometimes it's hard to understand her because the way she talked and how the phone sounds. So I have to listen closely. But if you guys caught that, let me know in the comment section. Okay, so... Um, Kristen was telling Wade that Mark Severs was been on the news at that time. He was on the news all the time. I do know who Mark Severs is. I do know that case. I was supposed to like do like a little video about him, but I don't know. Because I did see one of those crime shows about him and he killed his wife. <sighs> Insane. So now he's walking the road and his his neighbor is Wade Wilson. Anyway, now Wade said that she's the only one that he's talking to because she kept asking Wade, who else are you talking to? And she sounded kind of like she had some jealousy, you know, in her voice, you know. And he was like, I'm not talking to anybody else. I'm just talking to you. You know, that's it. But why would you even care who he's talking to on the phone? You have your freedom. He doesn't. Do you think he's going to be honest about not talking to anybody else. That's weird to me. But um he gotta tell her that. He doesn't want his money to stop. If she's giving him money and she's the only one right now that's giving him money, do you think he wanna mess that up? No. So he's gonna tell her what she needs to hear. She's the only one that's taking care of him. She's the only one that's um, putting money on his books or whatever the case may be. And we know she said, you know, talk to other girls and get money. But I think her feeling that way started to, to drift, like started to like drown out because now she has real feelings for Wade Wilson and she doesn't want nobody else doing anything else for him unless she's unless she approves it. But he got to tell her that so that she could spend the money so she don't have, the money doesn't stop. And yes, your, you guys' conversation is whack because it doesn't have any substance to it. Okay. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about um, that little phone call, give my little commentary, my little, my little review about it. But I did not like the fact that she sent Wade a picture of her daughter. Something about that is just wrong. This man has so many charges. You know, he's a double murderer. Um, he's a rapist. You know, he is so much that they can just look up online about him and read. Okay, but of course not. Anyway, you guys, if you heard the phone call that prison from phone calls from prison dropped today. Let me know in the comment section. How do you feel about it? And how do you feel about Kristen sending away the picture of her daughter? I think it's horrible. I really do. But anyway, bye. I'll talk to you soon.